right, we have our last team in the AFC North for our midseason review. Uh, Cleveland fans, we're talking about the Browns. I'm sorry uh, for your loss yesterday. Baseball season's over. At least you have uh, the Cavs to watch. You can watch LeBron James dunk all over people and just pretend like the Browns don't exist for uh, another nine games here. Um, but we still got to talk about the Browns. Uh, we're looking at a roster that's going to be um, totally reshaped. Um, they're basically a developmental league team right now. They're just throwing guys out there, seeing what they have. I will say this Jamie Collins trade was an awesome move. You get a superstar uh, middle linebacker to really build your defense around. I'm looking forward to seeing just um, kind of my theory that you put a good middle linebacker on any defense, a good middle linebacker like Jamie Collins, um, my theory is that you can have a good defense no matter who your uh, surrounding core is. Um, and a big part of that uh, comes from the Niners. Um, Navarro Bowman, you see him leave uh, the Niners and their defense falls apart. Anyway, I digress. Uh, just kind of running through the roster. They got so many quarterbacks. They're definitely going to be um, changing there. Uh, an interesting guy in Joe Callahan they just brought in. It uh, doesn't seem like he's going to play, but he's been um, trying out for a few teams. Uh, made the, the Packers roster originally, went to New Orleans. He's had some good coaching. He looked really good in the preseason. I wonder if we will see him play before the season's end because uh, I think he does have some potential. Um, running backs, Isaiah Crowell has been fantastic. Uh, I've talked about him in my Madden roster. He's a guy they want to keep around. He's still very young, very explosive, has really developed this year. Duke Johnson... Um, not much more than a, uh, a Gio Bernard role for him. Still solid. Uh, I don't quite like him as much as Gio, that said. Uh, receivers, Terrell Pryor. It'll be interesting. He's a Cleveland guy playing from uh, coming from Ohio State, uh, but he is going to be looking at some mega contracts this year and um, with his contract being over in Cleveland, and it'll be interesting to see if Cleveland can keep him there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and then uh, the offensive line needs some work. Joe Thomas, I think they should have traded Joe Thomas. Honestly, he's 33 or 34. He's not going to be uh, in his prime by the time Cleveland gets good. You might as well get a pick for that. Um, and then onto the defensive side of the ball, really not a ton to get excited about. Uh, you know, Danny Shelton, the nose tackle, first round pick, uh, is starting to play all right. And then uh, the outside linebackers are actually kind of intriguing. Manuel Ogba and uh, this Cam Johnson guy they just brought in from Arizona. Uh, those two guys are uh, young guys that could turn into uh, maybe rotational pass rushers. Uh, I like their, line, their middle linebackers a ton now. I already liked Demario Davis and um, Christian Kirksey a lot, but now you add Jamie Collins into the mix. Uh, so a lot of competition. Uh, that's at least one position they shouldn't have to worry about. Uh, and then a corner, a bunch of guys. Uh, you got, I believe it's Jamar Taylor is, is playing. Uh, he's actually been all right. Um, Joe Hayden, of course, uh, I still think is a top-end corner. He's been battling some injuries. Uh, but a guy that gets forgotten about just because, um, guys, when you're a corner playing behind that pass rush, that's the hardest job in the NFL. That might be harder than a quarterback that can't get pass protection because just think about the receivers out there. When you're being asked to cover these guys for six, seven seconds, uh, it's impossible. And um, Joe Hayden, I think, did not get traded because the perception is that he's fallen off, but the Browns know this guy is still an elite corner. He's only 27, um, so at least you have that. Uh, and the safeties are going to be uh, probably moved on from. Um, but you got a ton of picks in Cleveland. I think, uh, you know, the coaching is heading in the right direction uh, with uh, Hugh Jackson. And uh, I think Cleveland has a chance, at least, to turn it around. This is probably the most exciting um, Cleveland team we've had in the last five years, which is saying a lot. Um, but I definitely don't know when they're going to win a game. It's just no pass rush. The offense is just flat. Uh, anyway, um, that's it for Cleveland. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the NFC South, and we'll keep moving from there. So we'll see you for that.